Hi everyone, Michelle here from Scout and Molly's. And Stephanie from Scout and Molly's. And welcome to our Sunday Brunch video blog where we are going to briefly touch on how to prepare to take your next photos. Mm -hmm. Yes, so whether it's engagement photos, a corporate photo you have to take, or family photos, every now and then people have to go take them and we want you looking your best because it's not as easy as just throwing on something from your closet. Absolutely. And we know that this time of the year there are still a lot of weddings going on. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're transitioning into a new position and you want to... I know, I know when I used to work for my company, I actually had a woman come in here and I've had the same Gmail photo <laughs> for probably the last 10 years. And the woman that came in was like, oh, you're nothing like your picture. <laughs> And I was like, what? Is that a well, good thing? Or yeah. <laughs> Do you take that as a compliment? Or I, I think maybe I have more wrinkles. Was it that awkward, like, thank you? <laughs> it's more of like, oh, okay. Uh, maybe it's time to update that photo well, I have okay. on Gmail. Yeah. So we want to share with you just a few things because next week we mm -hmm. have a special guest that's actually going to be joining us for our Sunny Brunch video yes. blog artistry citizen who is going to help us selecting what or helping you with what you should be thinking about when you're getting that corporate photo that engagement photo or maybe a family photo right you know what colors do you wear how do you coordinate all together so that it doesn't look like that you know a, I don't know what you would call it but a you know a good color scheme. Right, you look coordinated, you look put together, it doesn't look like everyone kind of got dressed in the dark and then showed up. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's true. So and like, I think too, <laughs> with it being fall, if you're going to take outdoor photos, because now is the time, you know, it's beautiful out, the foliage is Ugh. changing, so we want to take advantage of that, whether it's wedding photos, um, engagement photos, things like that. So people are outside a lot. Yeah. So it's important to understand um, the tips and tricks. Oh, and especially thinking about getting your photos taken outside. Mm -hmm. So one of the tips that we'd like to share in thinking about your background is trying to stay away from prints. Mm -hmm. um, so when you're thinking about your tops, the best advice is to always go solids. And we're not talking about your bright reds or your bright pinks, but right. more of those subtle neutral colors. Right. The colors are out there. We don't have to wear them on our body. <laughs> um, in fact, it actually looks more put together and your pictures will come out better when you're in uh, solid tones like a uh, navy, like mm -hmm. you said, um, and not those big splashes of color across. Yeah, if you want to add a little color, the best thing to stay with or to stay with are those pastels. Mm -hmm. So lighter colors, you can absolutely do. Those bright, bold colors like, like hot pink or a bold red. Burgundy? Mm -mm. <clears throat> I don't know. I'd, I'd say burgundy would be a really nice color. Mm -hmm. um, so I definitely think you can stay in the family. Just not go for those bright bold colors. Okay. Um, another thing to think about, so here's your second tip. If you're, when you're selecting your tops, you always want to try to go with at least a three-quarter sleeve. Mm -hmm. Because Now why sleeveless? is that, Michelle? <laughs> <laughs> sleeveless? Especially if you are you know, you've lost some of your tan, those arms are gonna stand out. <laughs> so, like trunks on the top. <laughs> so we want to stay away from sleeveless. Listen, Three I work sleeves. out at the gym, I try and tone the arms, but <laughs> let's be real, there's a reason there's a sleeve on me. <laughs> like, there's to be put up against your yeah. body. It's the only thing you know, see. <laughs> every woman has a bye-bye, and if you don't know what a bye-bye is, then Godspeed to you because this is a bye-bye. <laughs> so, you know, when that's laying on your body, it just, it's not cute. And we get self-conscious of it. And we want to yeah. feel good about the pictures. We're paying someone to take. Yes. We want them to come out good and we want more option and you're going to get more option for what you want to pick your final photos out of if you're dressed appropriately, you're in clothes that feel good because you're going to have more options on what pictures end up coming out good. Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> absolutely. So very good point. Third tip, mm -hmm. and I think it comes down to jewelry. Um, simple the better. Mm -hmm. So if you look at Stephanie, Stephanie has a nice simple plate necklace on. 
a nice simple bracelet would be okay, but you want to stay away from those big, what we call um, statement pieces because it will detract, um, distract, detract, distract, Both. away from your photo. <laughs> oh, poor head things. <laughs> So trying to go with simple pieces, simple earrings. Um, you know, I have some hoops on. Yeah, the hoops are big, but they're very simple. They're thin. They're not like like the huge earrings that are hanging down on my shoulder. Right, because you want your photos to be, whether it's a family portrait, you want it to be showcasing your family, your faces, your the love you guys have. If you want it to be a corporate photo, you don't want someone staring at your necklace, a statement piece necklace, or those big, bold earrings. You want them looking at your face in a corporate setting, looking mm -hmm. like a professional individual. And if it's engagement photos, the only piece of jewelry that's acceptable to be highlighted oh. is your ring. So you don't <laughs> want anything else competing with that. He worked really hard to get you that ring and you are gonna love showing it off. So you don't wanna have competing things and mm. you want the joy and love of your faces and your postures, those to be shining through, those to be making the statement, not your jewelry. Oh, and hey, if his engagement ring becomes a statement piece because it's so big, you marry him you. tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so those are our three tips. Mm -hmm. Stay away from patterns, yeah. bright colors. We want three quarter sleeves, at least um, on the arms and go for simple versus bold when it comes to the jewelry. And we are so excited to have Artistry um, Citizen here next week with us yeah. because we're going to dive a lot deeper on what you should be thinking about, what you should be wearing when it comes to getting those photos taken this fall. Yes, and if you guys have any questions specifically for Artistry Citizen, drop them in the link um, in the comments below, and we'd be happy to kind of show yes. Uh, send those on her way and and highlight some of those questions. So definitely send in. Uh, comments, concerns, questions you have for her, especially if you have some upcoming photos coming. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And if you want to check out her Instagram at Artistry Citizen, you can see some of the beautiful photos that yeah. she takes. Um, just so much is about lighting, so much is about positioning, so much is about, I mean, she's, I mean, her stuff is really beautiful. Yeah, so. it's incredible. Yeah, so we're super excited to have her next week. And when it comes to selecting your styles, um, for your photos, remember you'll always find the latest fashion trends in a warm and friendly environment here at Scout Molly's. And you're always going to feel like you're shopping in your best friend's closet. Bye guys. Bye.